Now you can see here there's a couple of recesses here on the bearing cassette. So we're going to rotate the bearing inside the housing. So now that we've got the new bearings installed in the housings, we're ready to put these things back in the car. Now if you do need to change your axle bearings because it's the end of the season, they're damaged, or you just want to put some new ones, that's how to get it done. Hey guys, today's video we're going to show you how to change your rear axle bearings. Hey guys, today's video we're going to be showing you how to change your rear axle bearings. Now we have had this question quite a lot lately. So what we're going to do is break down how to take all the components off, get the bearings out of the cassettes, slam the new ones in, and then put it all back together. It's a simple enough process, especially once someone shows you how. Now you might be asking, gee, Des, when am I going to need, if I need to change the bearings? Well, if you've spun out a lot into the dirt, you've been driving in the wet, or your go-kart's just old and the bearings need changing, well, this is the video for you. So let's get into it. First things first, we're going to remove the hubs and the wheels. Now we are working on a brand new two bearing go-kart here today, but the same principles apply whether it was a 40, 50 or a 30 millimeter axle like it, this little Rocky EV has. Now to remove the axle keyways, grab yourself a set of side cutters like this and with some firm pressure you can just hold the keyway with the side cutters and use some leverage against this part of the, the tool off the axle and just pull that keyway straight out. Before we go any further, we're going to loosen off the brake disc hub and remove all the axle grub screws. If you're doing this job yourself at home, an easy way to get the brakes to slide on the axle is to lock the brakes on with a zip tie and use a screwdriver down in the brake hub to open it up a little bit so the axle will slide more freer through the hub. So now we're ready to remove the axle from the go-kart so we can get access to the bearings in the cassettes. The beauty of locking the brakes on is when you pull the axle out, obviously the brake disc doesn't just fall on the ground. Now to get access to the bearing in the cassette, we're going to have to remove it from the frame by removing these four screws. Like I mentioned earlier, this process is the same whether you're working on a 30, 40 or a 50 millimeter axle in all types of go-karts. To get the bearings out of the cassettes, you're pretty much going to have to remove them from the go-kart. Before you remove the bearing from the cart, it could be a good idea to mark the whole positions that you were using so you can put it back in the same position when you reinstall the new bearings. Now you can see here there's a couple of recesses here on the bearing cassette. So we're going to rotate the bearing inside the housing and get them the spherical part of the bearing into these grooves and then we can remove the uh, uh, bearing straight out of the cassette. So first things first, we're going to loosen off the retaining screw. Now this acts as a little clamp so that when, once you've got the bearing in its final position in the cart you can do this guy up and it stops it from moving. So now reinstall the bearing on the axle and with the soft hammer you can just tap the bearing around. Rotate the bearing to 90 degrees and then we're just going to spin it inside the cassette because we've got like a spherical edge here and the same inside the bearing housing. So if we just rotate that to there if I flip the bearing over, you can see this is where we marked it with the texture earlier, and that's the in and out hole. Now to put the new bearing in, it's a repeat of the removal process, where we put it in through the holes, turn it 90 degrees, rotate it over, put it back on the axle, and then we can just tap it with the soft hammer. 
So now that we've got the new bearings installed in the housings, we're ready to put these things back in the car. Now it's time to reinstall the bearing housing, or sub-assembly as some would call it. We're just going to reinstall our bolts, lining them up on the middle holes. So now we can reinstall the axle through the bearing, but we've got to do a little bit of an alignment job first before we can do the final assembly. As you can see, we're sliding the axle in and the axle doesn't line up with the boss of the brake disc. Now we showed you before to loosen this bolt off. So now using the axle for leverage, we can just push the uh, bearing around until it lines up perfectly on the other side and the axle should, should just slide through with no effort at all. Caution, before you put the axle back into its final position, don't forget to reinstall the axle keyway for the brake disc. Otherwise you'll assemble everything and have to pull it all apart again to get this guy back in and it's a real pain. Now with the bearings all aligned, we can lock them into position. And before we can lock the grub screws back on the axle, we need to get the axle centered in the go-car. So simply measure one side, then the other, and then just split the difference. In our case, 188 millimeters. Make sure when you are doing this job, you either measure the same on both sides here, here, or here, because you will get different measurements. So just remember to choose the same spot on both sides of the car. Now with the axle centered, we can remove the screwdriver and do up the retaining nut nice and tight. And then we can cut the zip tie holding the brake pedal and release the brake pressure. Don't forget to, don't forget when you're reinstalling the axle grub screws to use some Loctite. Now we can reinstall the keyways and the wheel hubs. Now if you do need to change your axle bearings because it's the end of the season, they're damaged, or you just want to put some new ones, that's how to get it done. It's simple now. You've seen how to get it done, so get some tools and get some spares and get to fixing your own racing machine. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. And a special mention goes always to our Patreons and YouTube members that give that little bit extra. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.